It's been two months now since J.C. Dugard was rescued from a backyard prison in Northern California. She had been held captive there 18 years. Earlier this morning, we found out how she's doing from a family spokesperson, and now we are taking you inside this People magazine photo shoot. Joining us is Peter Castro, People's De Deputy Managing Editor and Clinical Psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier. Let me begin with you, Peter. Good morning. Good morning. And congratulations on the photo shoot. You had Elizabeth Smart on your cover last week. Correct. Now you have J.C. Dugard two young ladies who are amazing all of us with their resilience and their strength and and this is a story that is really about redemption and it's not a surprise to me that um, in the people magazine layout she is so happy beaming with happiness and people might wonder how could you be so happy given the horror that she lived um, but she's just so happy to be with her family right now and she's just moving forward. What was she like during the photo shoot? What is her personality like? She was, I mean, somebody described it as giddy. Um, huh. And again, I don't, I don't think she's masking any kind of deep-seated depression or anything. She's just so happy to be with her mom after 18 years. She missed 18 Christmases, 18 Thanksgivings, 18 birthdays with her family. And she is now back with her mother, with her daughters, and she just cannot believe how happy she is right now. She only allowed the back of her daughter's heads to be photographed. Uh, it, she's very protective of them, isn't she? Well, yes, very protective and very private right now. I mean, the one, you know, there's sort of a contradiction. Well, if she's so private, how can she be on the cover of People magazine? She wants to lift the veil on this situation. Mm -hmm. She wants the world to know that she's doing okay and that she's in a very good place right now. And how are the girls doing? How are they on the shoot? Her daughters. The, um, you know, again, very, very pleased to be around their grandmother. And right now is a time of major bonding. Um, they're doing interesting things. They're, they've adopted, they have a therapist, and, and they're doing horse therapy. Mm. Um, and that's how they are getting to know each other and building trust. Trust is a really big issue right now. Peter Castro, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's talk a bit more about the therapy that they're undergoing with Jeff Gardier. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Mandy. What do you think about Peter's observations that it doesn't seem any way that she's masking any deep-seated depression? Well, I think Peter is correct to some extent, but after you've been through that kind of captivity, the brainwashing, the sexual trauma, giving birth uh, to her lovely daughters, there are things going on psychodynamically that have to be worked through. So even though she does have this incredible resilience which is wonderful and the happiness is authentic, she will have to work through those issues of being in captivity for 18 years. And that horseback riding therapy that, Peter, you talked about is wonderful because it is about establishing trust with the animal, not falling off, being able to master that kind of a situation, and yet at the same time uh, uh, generalizing that to her family and then to the outside world. But the important thing is she is really in seclusion with her family and rebuilding that trust again and that's what's really important. How do you come out of something like that and become an Elizabeth Smart who we all saw is doing great and moving on with her life and smart and beautiful and articulate. How do you get to come out of something so horrible, so well adjusted? Well, the important thing, and I'm sure this is what the therapist is working on, and as well, JC's mom is working with her on this, it's not about coming out of it a survivor. It's coming out of it completely different, growing into a different person, reestablishing, reinventing your life, being stronger than you ever were before. Those uh, uh, circumstances that she was in is about taking you to another level psychologically. Does it complicate matters? I would assume, of course it does, that she has two daughters who she'll spend the rest of her life with who are daughters of this man who put her through this. Well, part of this, uh, the therapy that they'll be getting is to get the girls to understand that um, Garrido may have fathered them, but he is not their father. This is mm -hmm. a monster, and therefore now they have to learn to build trust with other males in their lives, other people in their lives, and they are doing that. And the important thing is getting that therapy, getting the therapeutics right now and this is making a big difference for JC as we can see yeah. and as well for her daughters who we have found out are actually even though they didn't get formal educational training are actually at the same grade level as other people their own age so this That's is a wonderful. testament to their human spirit and how they have been able to really surmount all of these uh, uh, terrible circumstances that they've been in. Yeah. It's that human spirit. It's incredible. It sure is. Jeff Gardier, thank you. Thank you. Peter Castro, thank you as thank well. Thank you. We'll look for the, uh, the issue this Friday on newsstands.